All right, guys, are you ready? Are you ready, guys? So like little dilemmas. If I had a problem, circle the correct word to complete each sentence. Then decide if each sentence is true or false for you. Write T for true or F for false and correct the false statements. Number one, if I had a problem, I would talk to my best friend. False. If I had a problem, I would talk to my Aunt Lisa. Great. Number two, I always apologize. For? For. For my mistakes. Now, is that true or false, guys? For you? True. True. In this case, it's true. True. Perfect. Number three, my friends never thank me. For? For? For. 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 True or false? False. 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 Tell me your sentence, please. My friends never tell me for helping them. Is that your sentence? Yes. It, it's wrong. It's incorrect. Oh, uh, why? Because it's the same sentence in the book. You ah, only repeated okay. the sentence. I okay. wrote, my friends always thanks me for helping them. Okay, it's correct, but it's thank, no S. Yeah, thank. thank okay, you. I'm yes, sorry. Yes, there you go. Thank you very much, sir. There you go. Okay, number four. I always I worry. About, about, from? About. It's about. About, about, yeah. I always worry about taking tests. True or false? True. 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 Perfect. Number five. I usually share CDs. Two. Two. Three. With. With. Now, is that true or false? False. What's your sentence? If I usually save my CDs, I don't like share. Can you repeat that, please? If I usually, no. Uh, I, if I usually save, save my CDs, I don't like uh, to share. Save it because it's the past. It's still incorrect because you have an if clause. This is in um, in imaginary situation. What do you need? You need a result clause. This is not a result. Teacher, could you let me know if mine is correct? All right, let me see. I but put... first, let me correct this one, okay? Yeah. If I usually share, it's incorrect because we're not talking about habits or routines. So not usually. If I share my CVs, comma, I don't, it's incorrect. What is the result clause? I could. I wouldn't share them because it's in plural, right? Them is in plural, see this, correct? with my neighbor.
there. Okay, guys? Yes. Yes, okay. Uh, what's your sentence, Alan? Um, I put, if I had CDs, I wouldn't share them with my neighbors. It's if I had. There you go. So you have the, the, the if clause. If I had this, and then you have the result clause. I wouldn't share them with my neighbor. Perfect. Let's continue. Number six. If I forgot. About. 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 About a friend's birthday, I would feel bad. Is this true or false? True. True. True? true? Are you yes. sure? Yes. Yeah, of course, of course. Yes, it's correct. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. Can I erase it? Yes. Next, remind me about it. Complete the conversations with the words in the box. Ask for, borrow from, buy for, forget about, lend to, pay for, remind about, talk to, think about, and worry about. Where's Maris Marisa? I hope she didn't forget about or party. I know, let's call her and remind her about it. Number two. Oh no, I forgot my wallet. Can I borrow from have some money from, from. Some money from. From. from you for lunch? Oh, don't worry, worry about, about worry about Okay. I'll get lunch, it's my treat. Number three, do you think I should buy, buy this camera for, for my sister? Why don't you talk, talk, to, talk, to, talk, to, talk to Talk to her about it first. Next, number four, can you lend, lend. lend. Two. lend $10 to, to. to, okay, I'm sorry, I can't, I have just enough to pay for, pay for, pay for. Pay for. next, I think we're lost. Should we ask, ask someone for, for, for not yet? I'm sure if I think about, think about, it. about, think about it for a minute, I'll remember how to get there. Perfect. Any questions, guys? No. No. Next, would you ask for an autograph? Complete the questions with the correct form of the verbs. What would you say if you met a famous athlete? Would you ask for an autograph? Number two. If you saw an accident, <clears throat> what would you do? Yeah. 
would you uh -huh. call for an ambulance? Good. Number three. What would you do if you had a large spider on your leg? Would you scream? Next. If you broke your uh, best friend, CD players, how how will you feel? Will you offer to replace it? Nice, very good. Number five. How, how would you react? react? If your friend won a trip to Hawaii, would you feel jealous? Next, number six. What would you say to your neighbors if they complain about your music? Will you apologize? I would turn up the volume. <laughs> All right, guys, there you go. Do you have the correct answers? Yes. Yeah? Okay, now. You're gonna go in teams and you're going to ask and answer these questions with a classmate, okay? Okay, let me see. Oh my goodness. What happened? I, I can't do it. I hope you took the picture. No. You didn't take it? No, but I did it. But you have the answers? Yeah. Yes. 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 All right. Then let's go. Please, Alan, Giovanni, and Mariela, begin. Ask and answer the questions. OK. For number two, I wrote, if I saw an accident, I will call an ambulance as soon as possible. Okay. So, Alan, what would you do if you met a famous athlete? That is number... Number one. Number one. All right. Um... Are we putting our answers? In this case, it was already answered, or are you asking me directly? Uh-huh, I am I asking you di di right. directly, um, yeah, your answer. What would you do? <laughs> I guess it would depend on the person. And if I like their movies or their music, I would ask for an autograph or a picture. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, good, excellent, Allah. Right. Well, in the number three, okay, I wrote, if I had a large spider on my leg, I would definitely scream. <laughs> <laughs> really? What about you, Mariela? What would you do? <laughs> <laughs> I will pass out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hey, you, Alan, what would you do? <laughs> well, in my case, um, I think I would do the same. I would freak out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Okay. Um, Four. Who? Yeah. What would you do if you if you broke your best friend's CD player? I mean, how do you feel? Okay. If I broke my best friend's CD player, I will feel so embarrassed, and I would like to ask him how to pay for it. Okay. If I broke my what friend's CD player, I would feel bad and I would feel responsible to repair it or buy a new one. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Me too. Yes. If, if I broke my best friend's CD player, I would feel uh, terrible and I would replace it or... or buy a new one very okay. good um number five and then i'm um yes go ahead Allah. how would you react if your best friend won a trip to hawaii would you feel jealous in my case um well i think i wouldn't I... if my best friend won a trip I would be happy for him and tell him to bring me back something. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I wrote if a friend won a trip to Hawaii, I wouldn't feel jealous, but I would love to go with her. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and the last one, what would you say to your neighbors if they complain about your music? Well, we heard the Alan's answer. <laughs> right, <laughs> it would turn out turn off the volume, right? <laughs> yes, <clears throat> what about you, Mariela? In my, in my case, I would just I would turn it down, but mm, probably not like too exaggerating. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> in my okay. case, because I love music, I always have yeah. my music very loud. Okay. <laughs> Especially I rap music? Rap? Yeah. Mm, and you? What about um, you, Mariela? Uh, me? What, we, what would I do? Well, yeah. I think, uh, well, I would I would apologize. Yeah. Yes, I'm me too. I'm a peaceful person. Yeah. I, yeah. Um, I, I love music too, like Alan, hip hop, rap. And what about you, Mariela? What kind of music do you like? What kind of music? Oh, I like, um, I don't know. I don't have um, a type, really. Yeah. <laughs> I hear everything. Okay, okay good. <laughs> In my case, I do listen to loud music, especially when I'm recording, so I could hear it perfectly. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We finish. <laughs> Excellent, yeah. guys. Thank you very much. That was very good. Great. Let's continue. Now we're going to step on to the next lesson. The next, uh, uh, yeah, the next lesson. We're going to talk about gadgets. Do you know what gadgets are? Gadgets. Electronic devices. Not necessarily electronic, no. but the majority of the new gadgets, yes, are electronic. Oh, but okay. a cell phone, headphones, charger, what else is a gadget for you? Be a, a tablet. A tablet, yeah. Computer. Okay, a computer. And a smartwatch. Yeah, smart yes, smartwatch. Do you have gadgets? Yes. 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 What's your favorite gadget? I, cell phone. I I cell, phone. That, <laughs> cell phone. Cell phone. Do you okay. ever have problems with your cell phone? No. No. No, Alan, yes. <laughs> I've broken a lot. Phones. <laughs> you break it a lot? Oh my gosh. 
Me too. My cell phone is really bad, damaged, <laughs> constant abuse. But anyways, the phone is still working. What about yours? Is your is your working? Is yours working? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So you have no problems with it. No. Not right no. now. No. <laughs> what are the most common problems with a laptop? Um. The uh, full space in the hard disk. The full space in the hard disk? Yeah, in the laptop. Yes. Yeah. Is that a problem? Yeah, because uh, the new computers um, have a uh, little space in the hard disk. So, hard drive. Hard drive. So we need to buy an um, external hard drive. And, yes. uh, it's, uh, they are more expensive. Yeah, so a space, perfect. Another problem? Mm, memory RAM. The, mem the, the RAM, yeah. RAM. Another problem? The speakers from the computer. The speakers, yes. Is that it? Interface sounds. <laughs> okay. Let's take a look at the next lesson. Right. You can remember in one minute. Please, anywhere. Are we are supposed to do it? <laughs> yes. All right. Oh, time's up. There you go. Thank you very much. Is that is that it? Hard drive, chargers, computer, smartwatch, headphones, tablet, tablet, tablet. <laughs> this was incorrect. Cell phones, pocket video games, portable battery, video game consoles. Perfect. This will be video game consoles. Great. So we have a lot of different gadgets. Here they are. Okay, what is this, guys? Smartwatch. And what is this? Um, RAM. Wireless. Wireless what? Wireless mouse. A what? A mouse. A wireless mouse. Mm -hmm. And this? MP2, MP2, MP2. player. And this? USB. USB. USB drive. Speaker. Speaker. Spe speaker. Memory. 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 Um, no. Pocket video game. Or video game. Video game. Video game phantom. Headphones. Headphones. Speaker. Headphones. Video game. Video game. A video game for cell phone. phone. Cell phone. I don't know what that is. I don't know, yeah. I don't know what that is either. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now let's talk about tech support, technical support.
Which gadgets do you usually use? Cell phone. Right? Yes. Webcam. Yes. Computer. Microphone. Do you ever have problems with them? Yes, sometimes. Yes, sometimes. What type of problems do you usually have? Mm. Are very delicate. Yeah, fragile, yes. With me, I have problems with my cables for my microphones. Uh -huh. Do you know how to solve the problems? Sometimes. 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 Yes, Sometimes. what do you do? Um, Save up for a new one. <laughs> <laughs> of Find course. Some information in the internet. All right. What are the most typical problems with technology? Maybe the charger breaks, can't charge your cell phone or computer. Aha, uh -huh, the charger breaks, yes. Batteries too. The battery, yes. Maybe the updates of the system. The updates, yes, the updates. Has this ever happened to you? Yeah, in my office a lot. We really? got a new copying machine like a year ago. And before that, we had one for at least 10 years. And the new one broke like in a week. It had <laughs> problems. It didn't break, but it had problems with the ink or something like that. Yes, and a lot of problems. What about this? Has this happened to you? <laughs> no. No, good. That's good. Okay. Now, this man is called Kenji. His name is Kenji. Kenji. He's having problems with his computer. What do you think is his problem? The computer don't. Hmm. That it's very slow. The computer is slow. But it doesn't turn on. It doesn't uh -huh. turn on. Okay. Now look at his uh, friends. What do you think they are telling him? Omar, try again. What? <laughs> Omar. Say try again. Try again. Buy a new one. Buy a new one. Maybe uh -huh. he's calling a technician. Yeah. Ah, perfect. What you have to do is listen and tell me what is the problem and what solutions they talk about. Are you ready? Yes. Yes. There's something wrong with my computer. It keeps freezing up. Does anyone know what the problem is? Anita. You know what you should do? You should delete all your temporary internet files. I forget how you do that, though. Jennifer. I wonder if you have that awful virus that's going around. Run your antivirus software. Stephen. Have you checked the battery? Do you know if it's charged? Nella. I have no idea why it's doing that. Hector. It's probably a software problem. We should call Yaman. Can anyone remember what Yaman's number is? Tracy. The last time I had a computer problem, I went online for tech support. But I can't remember which website I used. Omar. I know what we should do. We should all have another cup of coffee. Okay, what is the problem? It's freezing up. Freezing up. Freezing up? Yes. yes. It keeps freezing up. What is the solution? <clears throat> Delete temporary internet files. Delete temporary 
internet files like that yeah check the battery okay check battery But I think it was Stephen. Yeah. <clears throat> said check the battery. Stephen? Yes. Jennifer mentioned something about a virus yeah. in the software or something like that. Something uh, anti-virus. A virus. <laughs> okay. What else? Hector says uh so maybe it's the software. Uh-huh. Software problems. Yeah. Hector, software problems. Yes. Um, Tracy ne said web support. Web support? Yeah. Okay. Omar says uh, just take a coffee. Yes, another <laughs> cup of coffee. <laughs> just take another cup of coffee? Yeah. And Neya or Nella, Neta, she said, no, I don't have any idea or no idea about what's the problem. So she I doesn't have. Don't have, continue. Any idea. All right. Now let's listen and check your answers. There's something wrong with my computer. It keeps freezing up. Does anyone know what the problem is? Anita. You know what you should do? You should delete all your temporary internet files. I forget how you do that, though. Jennifer. I wonder if you have that awful virus that's going around. Run your antivirus software. Stephen. Have you checked the battery? Do you know if it's charged? Nella. I have no idea why it's doing that. Hector. It's probably a software problem. We should call Yaman. Can anyone remember what Yaman's number is? Tracy. The last time I had a computer problem, I went online for tech support. But I can't remember which website I used. Omar. I know what we should do. We should all have another cup of coffee. I agree with Omar. <laughs> There's something wrong with my computer. It keeps freezing up. Does anyone know what the problem is? Anita. You know what you should do? You should delete all your temporary internet files. I forget how you do that, though. Jennifer. I wonder if you have that awful virus that's going around. Run your antivirus software. Stephen. Have you checked the battery? Do you know if it's charged? Nella. I have no idea why it's doing that. Hector. It's probably a software problem. We should call Yaman. Can anyone remember what Yaman's number is? Tracy. The last time I had a computer problem, I went online for tech support. But I can't remember which website I used. Omar. I know what we should do. We should all have another cup of coffee. All right, so there's a story. Uh, let's check your answers. Anita. Delete temporary internet files. There you go. Delete temporary internet files. Perfect. Jennifer, something about a virus, right? Yes, I wonder if you have that awful virus that's going around. Uh, Steven, check the battery. Have you checked the battery? That was in the form of a question. Nella, I have no idea. I don't have any idea. Okay, close enough. 
Hector software problems. Uh, it's probably a software problem. Tracy, web support is more like tech support, right? Yes. Yes, it's tech support. Tech support, yes. And the last one. The same is correct. Yes, I ju just take another cup of coffee. We should all have another cup of coffee. Perfect, guys. You're doing good. Now, let's go. How do Kenji and his friends say the things below? Here in number one, what's the problem? That's one question. And then I have, does anyone know? I have two questions. Who says this? Who asks these questions? Kenji. Kenji. Kenji, Kenji asks these questions. Does he ask two questions? Tracy. Oh. Or he, does he only ask one question? He only Just asks one, one question. One question. One question. Does anyone know what the problem is? So the two questions are combined into one. Does anyone know what the problem is? Okay, what about number two, three, and four? Please go ahead, solve them and compare with the classmate. Ask each other for your opinion. Let's see, who wants to be, I need three volunteers. I'll be one. Okay, so Alan's one. Two more. Be two. Who? Me, Giovanni. Giovanni, perfect. One more. Ladies, what are you, ladies? Me, number three. Perfect. So the three of you, please, Giovanni, Omega, and Alan, discuss how are each, uh, each number of the exercise. How, how, who, who make, who made the questions? The That's three of I... you, the three of you discuss. Okay. Let's begin with number two. Okay. I think guys, the, um, I think, I think it was Tracy. Yeah. Yeah. She says the last time I had a computer problem, I went online for tech support but I can't remember which website I used. Yes, that's right. Yeah. It was and the number, money. yeah, that was crazy. For the number three, I think it's Hector because it said, it's probably a software problem. We should call Jaman. Can anyone remember what Jaman's number is? Or, or not? Uh, I think it could be... Nola, what's her name? Nella. Nella. But she said that she don't have any idea. And the question, it says, I forgot. She used to remember how to do that, but she forgot it. And Nola or Nella said, um, I have no idea. Yeah, you're um, right. And then... He's what asking about, if anyone remembers the number. You're right. Yeah. What number four? Oh, it's it's Anita. Anita says, Do you know what you should do? You should delay all your temporary internet files. I forgot how you do that, though. 
I think it's Anita in the number three. What do you think, guys? Yeah, mm. Anita is the one that fits best. Yeah, she said that, right? Yeah. And about the number four, uh, it belongs to Jennifer, that Jennifer. question or that statement yeah. belongs to Jennifer. Yes, that was yeah. Jennifer. Yes, I agree. I think we finished, teacher. All right, can you please write the, the, the sentences or the questions? Okay. I'll do number four. Okay, I'll do number three. Am, am I right, teacher? Do I have to write the question or Number the full sentence? Uh -huh. Number three is incorrect. Oh. Okay, so do I have to write the full sentence or? Or, something, have... si or something similar to the question? No, similar, no. Answer? The answer, no. Oh my goodness. So the exact statement or what? Yes. These okay. two okay. are in a single sentence in the conversation. Okay. Where is it? Do you know? And the, yeah, the number sentence, three is... You need to oh. write it right here. Okay. So this is incorrect. What about number four? For example, let's look at the first one. Guys, look at the very first example that we gave. Here, we have two questions. Yeah. What's the problem? Does anyone know? And then we have them again in a single question. Does anyone know? what the problem is, a single question. So on number four, would it be Maybe. run your antivirus software? Nope. Or we have to Let's ask continue, all right? all right? One more time. Here, I have one question. And here I have a separate question, but in the conversation, I don't have two questions. I have only one question. So these two questions are combined together. And now I have only one question. Does anyone know what the problem is? One question. Now, number two. The same scenario. I have two, one question, and I have one sentence. Now, this is in the story. Where is it? I can't remember which website I used. I can't remember. <clears throat> Which website I used? Now they are right here. I have the sentence. I can't remember. I can't remember. 
which website did I use? Which website I use? Right there. That's my sentence combined. Okay. Right? Correct? Yes. yes. Okay. What about number three? I forgot how you do that. Uh, incorrect tense. I forget. I forget. I forget. How you do that. How you do that. There. And number four. I wonder if you have that awful virus. I wonder if you have that awful virus. But the number four doesn't change at all for me. Ah, we're going to see that in a second. What to do the same thing that we've been doing here on number three? How do you do that? And then I have a sentence. I forget. And then I have the same ones. I forget. And then I have the rest. How do you do that? Notice how on this one, I don't have a question. Now it's only a sentence. Right? Yes. Yes. And let's do the same for the for the next one. Teacher, sorry Maybe. to interrupt. What? Uh, sorry to interrupt on number three. It's correct to say forget or forgot. Uh well, we'll take a look at that in a second. All right. So maybe you have the awful antivirus. Uh, here, you have the awful, the awful virus. And the other section, instead of maybe, I have, I wonder if, right? Which is different. Correct. Now let's check what is, what are we working with? What are we doing? This is, we have two questions. What's the problem? Question one, plus another question. Do you know? Together we have, do you know what the problem is? We are having a question within a question or a question inside another question. Another example, is the battery charged? Question two, can you remember? And just no question within question. Can you remember if the battery is charged? Now, what's the difference? In this one, we added the if, but why? Let's continue, okay? Now I have the same things, but with a sentence. What's the problem? It's a question. I don't know, it's not a question. It's a sentence. And both of them together, I don't know what the problem is. Now I have a question inside a sentence. And is the battery charged? It's a question. I can't remember. It's a sentence. I have a yes, no question inside a sentence. I can't remember if the battery is charged. Now, we have many different type of questions. What time is it? Where is she? How many cats do you have? How old are you? Who is him? How much does this cost? Whose pencil is this? Which drink do you want? When is the party? Why are you sad? 
These are direct questions. That means that if this is a direct question, then I have indirect questions. Which ones are they? What questions would be indirect? Let's take a look. Indirect questions will be, do you know? Do you have any idea? Let me move this a little bit there. Can you remember? Can you tell me? Now, these questions right here are indirect because this question is not asking for the information. It's asking for somebody to give the information. Oh, sorry. We also have the sentences, like the answers. I don't know, I have no idea, I can't remember, and I wonder. These are short answers. Now let's check. Question, do you know what time is it? When you have the, the indirect question first, the direct question changes tense, not tense, changes uh, the structure. Then the first one, instead of time is it? The new question is, it is. Do you know what time it is? And it's the same for the rest. Do you know where is she? It's incorrect. Do you know where she is? Now, this is with the verb be. It is or she, uh, she is. What about a question with the auxiliary do? Do you know how many cats do you have? How do you think that is in the question within the question? I think we omit the auxiliary. That's right. You use omit the auxiliary, and that is a complete question. Do you know how many cats you have? What about the next one? How old are you? How is the question? Uh, we change for a third person. I'm not a third person. You just change it. How old you are? Yes, how old you are. Next. Do you know who he is? Perfect. Next. How you much can change this that. Cost? Yes, how much this costs. You can change the indirect uh, question. Instead of, do you know, you can ask, do you have any idea? Can you remember? Can you tell me? Next. Do you have any idea whose pencil this is? Yes, whose pencil this is? Next. Can you tell me? Which drink do you want? Excellent. Next. Can you tell me when the party is? There you go. And the last one. Can you tell me why you are sad? Very good. Okay. Now. How does this change when instead of the question, instead of this question, I have a sentence. 
How will it change? We only cancel or we erase or omit the question mark. And that's it. Okay. So on the sentence, I don't know what time it is. I have no idea where she is. I can't remember how many cats you have. I wonder how old you are. I don't know who he is. I have no idea how much this costs. I can't remember whose pencil this is. I wonder which drink you want, etc. Yes? Yes. Next? Yes. We have questions within sentences. The direct questions, the questions within questions, and the question within statements. What's the problem? Do you know what the problem is? I don't know what the problem is. When do we, why was the first exercise different? Remember the first exercise? This. This is different because of this. Let's take a look at it. Right there. What's the difference? Can you can you see the difference? Yes, On the it's direct, a question. The direct questions are what, which, what, and why. What are these? So Information are you? questions. And the other one is a yes, no question. So when you have a yes, no question, we use if. If on the question, do you know if the battery is charged? And we use wonder in the sentence. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's a, it's a statement. Yes. With a question. With a question inside. inside. That's right. Okay. Now, what time is it, guys? Eight forty. Excellent. We have plenty of time. So, rewrite these questions. And start with expressions given. So I'm gonna take a picture of this. I'm gonna share it with you on the WhatsApp group so you guys can work in teams and solve this, all right? All right. Oh my gosh, where did it go? One, well, the number two, right? It is, are there any internet cafes around here? I wonder. Mm -hmm. If, because it's a just no question, right? <laughs> I wonder if there are. Mm -hmm. I wonder if there are any internet cafes around here. Yeah, it's, it's is that right, any? I think without the any. I just if there are internet cafes around here because it's a statement with a yeah. 
but it's still a statement, not a question at all. Okay, so without any, I wonder <laughs> if there are, there are internet cafes around here. So mm -hmm. without um, the question mark? Uh -huh. Yeah, right? The statement. <laughs> statement, right? Okay, the number uh, three. Where can I buy a really cheap computer? Do you know? Do you know where I can buy a really cheap computer? Okay, yes, I can because we change, right? Mm -hmm. Do you know where I can buy a really cheap computer? No question mark again, right? Mm -hmm. uh, the number four, how much did your cell phone cost? Can you remember how much your cell phone costs? Mm -hmm. How much your cell phone cost? Okay. Nora, my no question mark. <laughs> what? I think no, of course not. Okay. And the other one says, uh, how can I put my vacation photos on the web? Do you have any idea how I can put my vacation photos on the web? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes. because we changed it, right? Mm -hmm. And you... number six. Mm -hmm. How many songs can you store on an MP3 player? I wonder if how many songs you can store on an MP3 player? Mm -hmm. No, but I think, I don't know, it sounds strange. Right? strange. <laughs> I think it's only, well, I wonder how many yeah. songs you can store on an MP3 player. Okay, without can. Okay, we will check it. Because it's not yes, no. Uh -huh, it's no yes, yes, no question, yeah. We omit the auxiliar, right? Yeah. Okay. <sighs> Let's wait for the rest. Yeah, are you finished, guys? Yes, we finished, teacher. Yes, excellent. Everybody here? Mm. Very good. Now, please, guys, go ahead and uh, compare answers. Share ideas, please. Okay, for number two, I wonder if there is, if there is any internet cafes around here? Uh, can you repeat, please? Okay. I wonder if there is any internet cafes around here? I think it's there, if there are. are. Actually, uh, there are. Thank you. And I think it's without the any because it's not a, a question. At the end, you got you uh, you got a statement. Okay. Thank you. For number three, do you know where I can buy a really cheap computer? Yes, I got the same like you. I got the same. Yes. Me too. For the number three, uh, we wrote, can you remember how much your cell phone costs? Mm -hmm. 
Yes, the same. Yes. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Number five. Um, do you have any idea how I can put my vacation photos on the web? Yeah. Number six. Um, I wonder how many songs can you store on um uh, an MP3 player? You you can. You can. Uh -huh. You can. Uh, yeah, it's the switch. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. Finish right. Yes. Let's right. take a look at the answers. Number two is we already have the, the, the prompt here. I wonder. I wonder. I wonder. Continue, please. If there. If there. There are. Internet cafes around here. Any cafes around here. And this is a statement, it's a sentence, not a question. Right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Number three. You know where I can where buy. I can buy. Where I can buy a really cheap computer. And this is a question. This is a question. There. Next, number four. Can you remember? How much your cell phone costs? Yes. How much your cell phone costs? And this is question. Question. A question. Next, number five. Do you have any idea how I can put my vacation photos on the web? On the web? How I can put my vacation and this is question question a question there and the last one number six i wonder i wonder how many songs You can store on an MP3 player. There. Is this easy? Uh, I have a question. Yes. Number four. Yeah. But, uh, I don't know, but I think that well, uh, I know that we should omit the auxiliary did, but I think the verb cost must be in past tense. Right. It should be in past, right? What is the past of cost? It's not cost. Cost. <laughs> cost. Oh yeah. Oh. So it stays the same. Okay. So let me do this. I want to erase 
the these guys. What are you gonna do? Do you know what you have to do? Yes. What? Answer the questions. Yes. <laughs> okay. All right. Take your picture. Or right, actually, just wait for me. But you only have two minutes, okay? Because we're short on time. And let's see. Giovanni and Annie, please stay. Okay. And it's on the WhatsApp group now. Go ahead. Go ahead, guys. Giovanni, Annie, please begin. Okay. So do we have, well, we have to write the answers. Honey, um, I wonder if there are any internet cafes around here. Um, is that a question? Well, it, that's a sentence. Okay, but, but can but, I answer as a question? That's correct. It's a sentence, but it, there is a question in there. Uh, okay, so can I say? So, yes, teacher, uh, help me because, yes, I'm a little bit lost with the answers. I don't know how to answer. No? There is a special uh, structure or just answer? Mm -hmm. Yeah, just answer. Uh, okay. Uh. Yes, there are some okay. internet cafes. Okay. So number two, go ahead, ask me, honey. Do you know where I can buy a really cheap computer? Uh, yes, I know. You can buy a, a really cheap computer in Coppel or Electra, <laughs> or Walmart. <laughs> Amazon. <laughs> Amazon, yes. <laughs> okay. Okay, number three, I mean, the next question. Can you remember how much your cell phone costs? Yes, it costs uh, 5,000 pesos or something like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, do you have any idea how I can put my vacation photos on the web? Uh, well, to be honest, I don't have any idea. I'm lost in this... Um, uh, devices or uh, int, uh, I mean, technology. Yeah. Okay, that's, uh, I have some problems with technology. <laughs> okay, uh, I wonder how many songs you can store on your MP3 player? I don't know, but I think uh... A lot thousand, of <laughs> thousand, yeah, a lot. Okay. I, I never had one. Yeah, you don't have that and a specific number, right? Mm -hmm. It's That's a lot right. of <laughs> <laughs> okay, muy bien. Well, let's wait for the rest, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So how do you, how do you feel this uh topic? Easy for you? So, so, or? Uh, so I think so, so I was so, so, uh, right? a, a little bit confused. Yes. Yeah, but when you got the idea and, and some practice, it's not a big deal. Yeah, mm -hmm. I agree. Yeah. I, I, I need to study and practice and watch the video. Yeah, again. exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yes, watch the videos as many times, right? To mm -hmm. In order we can understand and practice more yes. because this is practice. Yeah, that's right. This is the first time that you take the Seni? Yes, it, it is my first time. What about you? Yeah, my first time. 
but the do you oh i mean um are you working as a teacher for the um, government or private schools no no at this moment i work at uh, three years ago in a kindergarten and oh. and now i wanted to apply for a government to work yeah. uh, in the SEP, but you know we need the certification yeah, yeah we need the certification Mm -hmm. Teacher, we have finished, teacher. Okay. Excellent. So your classmates are coming back. Okay. So how was the class, guys? I think it was good. I was telling uh, Honey that it just get the idea and, and practice. Yeah. But I think that it's, it's not a big deal. You just need more practice, more exercises. So. But it yeah. was good. The class was good. Are you guys uh, planning to get together sometime to practice? Uh, right now or maybe uh, tomorrow, Friday? Yeah, uh, that was just a, an idea. It was a... Yeah, I, I, yeah I remember that Alan sent a message uh, uh, who can practice on Fridays. I don't know if... Uh, you still practicing, uh, Alan, or or not? On Fridays. Yeah, I asked. I asked once, but I think Omega replied, but we never really practice. Practice. <laughs> okay. But yeah, if because anyone. Because you never answered to me. <laughs> oh, 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 the on, man. <laughs> <laughs> I saw You're the really message sure. after. You're really sure. <laughs> So if you can, get together tomorrow. Yeah. It doesn't have to yeah. be the full hour. It could be 10, 15, 20 minutes. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. And the exercises, the activities are in the WhatsApp group. You have to go yeah. back to them and see which ones you didn't finish. So you can continue with them and finish them. You know, if it takes 10 to 15 minutes, great. It'll yeah. be really good for you guys. Yeah. Now, yeah, I won't situation. be there, but if you have a question yeah. and you send me a message, I will answer. Okay. Thank okay. you very much, you, teacher. teacher. All right. So how was the class today, guys? Excellent. Good. First thing. Good? Great. Mm -hmm. Are there any questions? No. No? So what was the class no. about today? Direct and indirect questions not really no oh my gosh be able to convert <laughs> two questions into one uh -huh. and what do you call that within a question or question within, within a sentence yes questions within questions and questions within statements yes perfect thank you very much uh the homework i will send it to you in a minute and I will see you. Have a great weekend. I will see Thank you next you. Monday. Thank you very much, teacher. All right, All right guys. Thank, Thank you very you, much. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.